So building my relationships across the team and all the cross-functional teams, you start to determine like who really is a go-getter, who really is detail-oriented, who likes to follow a process. And I use the word like because not everybody's able. Um, and they're not forced to do it. They just believe in a process already, whether it's they, they have no exposure to Demake yet or anything like that, but they believe in that. And then the other thing that I look for is again, what I just referred to, you don't need to have a title to lead. How do they lead the groups where they work now? Whether it's a, um, on the floor or if you're in a leadership position or somewhere in the middle. Um, so the biggest challenge is first getting to know that person and what drives them, what's their why. And then secondly, um, you, you hit it right on resources. So we try to look for the biggest bang for the buck. And, and I don't mean that by we're going to save millions and millions of dollars, right? What's important for the business case and to the customer? It could be big, it could be small, but even a small thing could be really, really big in the big picture. So looking at that and what time we have available, what can we keep within our scope? to effectively have a good result and at the same time effectively have the person learn and be able to grow.